Right, here I am with uh, the T100, yeah, Bonneville um, Peggy. So, and I'm not alone, I've got two wheeled willy with me, and we are on our way to TTT Motorcycles. I thought he's new to the area, I've got to show him TTT Motorcycles because there's nothing like it until you actually see it for yourself. You can't hardly believe it. I'm also doing a little series, or trying to, if I can find enough shops, uh, called Halfway House. Yeah, for those motorcycles that don't make the grade. Do you know what I mean? You know, like Orwell and Suffolk Triumph. Um, your bike gets to a certain age, they ain't gonna sell it they just disappear off into the ether if you part exchange them um, or you don't part exchange them you sell them to auto trader and all that lot um, so yeah so partly for that um, and partly for uh, two wheeled willy yeah so i'll bring you back when we get a bit closer right we're almost there and I've got to tell you, something has flown into my helmet and it's in my left ear. Yeah, so when we get there, I'm going to stop pretty sharpish and get my helmet off. It's been in there for about, I don't know, five minutes. God knows where it's gone, but I, can, I keep feeling it. I've tried to get it out. Um, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, um, so Sudbury uh, on the Suffolk Essex border. Uh, a bit of a mixed town, market town, quite posh. Um, but here we go. Yeah. So hopefully it's open. Um, but I guess we will park up here. Marvellous. Yeah. It will do. Oh, Willie was going to take my spot. Marvellous. Yeah, there you go. TT motorcycles. There's a, they have one in London as well somewhere. Absolutely marvellous. Oh, look at that. Right, I will catch you in a little while. I've got to get my helmet off. Anyway, look at how I, we're just having a cup of tea, me and Willie. Um, I was just looking at this BMW, that's marvellous. That's an R107. And there is, over there, I don't know if you saw it, Willie, somewhere over there, a BMW, one of these with a full fairing on and like, only about £2,000. But anyway, it's Willie. Um, and I'm going to... I want to do something with Willie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Well, I'm going. <laughs> uh, just stick it in the hole and wiggle it about. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so what my plan is, yeah. what I want to do, I want to give you my camera and I want you to go around and pick three bikes yeah. that you, if you could take home out of all the bikes in here, yeah. right. okay. um, bear in mind on this video they haven't seen everything that's there but hopefully they'll remember back to your video okay um so bikes that I would want. and and why so you've got to find them right. and pick them out and tell us briefly why and then i'm going to do the same does that sound like a plan after we've had our tea of yes, course we'll have our tea. i wonder if we'll get one of the i think we'll have one bike that we both pick the same okay well well but we'll, we'll see, see. We'll see. We'll yes, see. I'm up for that. Right. Right, so let's finish our tea. Right, right guys, I'm going to show you the three bikes, my favourite three bikes in TTT motorcycles. And Tame has promised that he will buy me one of the three. <laughs> the first one is this BSA. £5,000. I have no idea what model it is. I have no idea what year it is because I don't know what, what year reg that is. But that to me is a stunning bike and it's about the price of a new BSA and I'd rather have this I think that's my first choice there's so many bikes here guys you could just go crazy 
Let's just move around here. My second choice would be this Yamaha 250. I don't even know if it's an RD 250. I don't think it is. What year is that? Elreg. Is that 70, 70 or 71? 5,695 pounds. It's a DS7 250. 1972 30 horsepower absolutely love that and my third choice I mean look at that but it's not that let's have a little walk around here It's the Suzuki GT750, the orange one, ten and a half thousand pounds. Depending on how rich Tame's feeling, if you're wondering which one to get me, mate, can you get me this one, please? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Love that bike. Right. Well, he's going to pick his three, and I think. I have to buy him one of the three. So I'm hoping they're cheap. That's a nice T100 there. Lovely bobber as well. Eleven six for a Tiger. Don't know what year that is, is that brand new? Can't be, can it? 21 Reg. Yeah, love you, but anyway, I'm getting waylaid. I will go back to Tame and he can give you his three choices. Right, so the challenge is to pick three bikes that we would each have. Um, Willie's already picked his, but I think you all know where I'm going and I reckon he'll know what I've picked because first, number one is the Suzuki AP50. I mean, just look at it. So many memories, hopes and dreams. Laid flat on that with the feet on the back pegs, going flat out at, oh, I don't know, 45, 50 miles an hour. Till we tuned them, we got more out of them. Downhill. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. 24,000 miles that's done. It's just wonderful. Um, don't think indicators weren't there originally, but they might have done. I don't know. Um, just amazing that it's back, it's still on the road. Uh, absolutely love it. Then, my second bike. You see, my first two are dead easy. Um, because of my, my youth, really. Yeah, it's, I think everyone knew it would be. Suzuki X7 GT250 replacement absolutely loved it probably raced them uh, go like hell tuned up beautiful sound this one looks really quite standard standard pipes the lot uh, that seat i don't think is standard but it could be i mean memory is a funny thing isn't it and this one's done oh, 5,000 miles that's all if that's all it's done might have been clocked might have had clocks replaced but it looks pretty standard T red, so it's at 78, 79 maybe. Um, I just love it. I don't, it's been here a while. Forks look a bit greasy, but I don't know. Four and a half thousand pounds. I think that'd do me. So that's two. My problem comes with the third, because there is literally so many wonderful bikes. But do you know what I'm gonna do? because I never mention it but I did have a KH250 um, mine was green and do you know what I quite liked it because they're quite tame this one is absolutely mint and really almost certainly out of my price bucket I would say um, is it going to be that? I think it could be um, there's part of me would like something like that uh, LTD 250 as well. 
but I think it's got to be the KH250. Yeah, all two strokes. Can you believe it? Um, some other wonderful bikes here. Um, but if you want to see all these, you'll have to go back and see uh, Willie's video on it from earlier on in the year. Yeah, um, that BMW R80 RT. Look at that. Yeah, it's only two grand. But, oh, and that Laverda as well. But no, I'm sticking with my choice. The top three. Um, let's go find Willie. Um, there he is, messing with his bun. Right, I'll, right, it's time to go then. Right, I'll catch you back on the bike. Right, oh, marvellous. Willie couldn't believe it. Um, now we're going to Two Wheel Tuesday. Yeah, so um, we'll get underway. Uh, Willie's ready and we're off. Yeah, he'll be surprised because I'm going to go through Sudbury instead so he can see Sudbury. Um, yeah, what a fantastic place. Get over there, open on Sundays, bank holidays, the lot. Yeah, food and everything. Um, the food's okay. Um, oh, look at that yellow. Oh, he needs some petrol. Um, yeah, I'll find somewhere. How far have you got? I've got enough to get probably to two two five. Okay. He's got loads of petrol. Yours clearly doesn't do 90 to the gallon like mine. <laughs> right, look, I'm going to leave it there. Um, We've had a fantastic time, nice cup of tea, nice little game I thought. What's your favourite bike? What would you have picked out of all those hundreds of bikes? Yeah, absolutely marvellous. I will catch you in uh, another butter and I'll, I'll try and put a link in to Willie's video of this trip. Yeah, ta-ta.